when I'm finished building it, uh, I'm going to put, put a primer coat and I'm going to use the airbrush to. That's why I, I did those with airbrush too. Those are all done with airbrush. And uh, it's not so much that you need an airbrush to do this, but uh, it's the control that you have with an airbrush and the exactness that you can shoot uh, and actually uh, paint with. That's why I use it. Wow. Even though we're not doing anything really sophisticated, we only have three colors. We've got silver, black, and white. But their patterns are very difficult. If you look at the uh, pattern uh, of the rocket, uh, you've got to you've do a lot of masking. Mm -hmm. And I made the last pattern I did a lot of masking. And I used the, uh, but this is the first time I've used, this is a new compressor. I used to have one of those big compressors. Yeah. It made the biggest noise. Oh, yeah. This is so quiet. You can't hear it. You can barely hear it. It's like, mm. And uh, so it's just a, it's a beautiful thing. So I decided to spend the money to get a piece of it. Cool. So. Yeah. Fun so stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 uh, it's it's uh, uh, it's, uh, it's fun stuff. So uh, uh, yeah, this is great, Hank. Uh, we'll uh, run all this stuff and then uh, <laughs> he'll just edit himself out. Of the picture. Tough. Oh, Hi, I'm the one who's been rambling Tough. all the time. My name is Rick I. Nigel. I'm uh, as Hank has been photographing. He's photographing my project. I'm building a 170th scale Super Saturn V to launch this summer to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the moon landing. So oh, all the stuff cool. you see here is all the pieces that I'm uh, doing to put this rocket together. Uh, it's a flying rocket. It will launch uh, using the 29mm uh, uh, Aerotech motors, the uh, G size motors. And uh, we hope to get an altitude of uh, between 4 and 500 and 600 feet, maybe, maybe higher. I'm not sure what the payload is at this point. Uh, no one's given me the information on that. But you putting any monkeys on board or anything? No monkeys. Like that? Uh, this is a purely unmanned and unmonkeyed flight. Uh, uh, so uh, hopefully uh, uh, I'll give you the time and date when that's going to happen sometime this summer. Oh, definitely. I've got to be there. Everybody's going to be there. So uh, you betcha. Anyway, uh, all of us are at the age uh, we were. Uh, we all know where we that's were. That's right. I remember it. When uh, when uh, when Neil. I was, was in a uh, swimming pool, I think, really? or something. Yeah. I was watching our our uh, our 19-inch uh, black and white Mulro television. Uh, hmm. when uh, Neil uh, made his famous speech, uh, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Anyway, uh, <laughs> enough of that. That's <laughs> definitely going to tag me as a really uh, geek now. <laughs> so, anyway, bon appetit.